Hello friends and welcome to our SAP BW training and in this class we will learn about SAP BW data flow how the data flows and what are the objects involved in it so this is the basic SAP BW data flow the source system can be of any type SAP non SAP DB connect flat file so no matter what is our source system the data flow will be same for all the different types of sources so primarily the data from source system enter into our data source which is on BI side with the help of an IP that is info package. Then the data is further moved from data source to info provider with the help of transformation and DTP. The T stands for transformation. The data in PSA is of different format and since we are extracting the data from different sources and and accumulating it at one location so it there is no point to have a data of different formats so in this transformation we will be trying to convert the data from different format into a uniform format and with the help of DTP the data moves from data source to info provider info package and DTP are called as schedulers they are very similar to our water taps over here they control the flow of data let's take a closer look on each of these object modeling types of info providers InfoCube it stores data in multi-dimensional way InfoCube contains multiple table in a star schema format which we will be learning in a coming class so as to analyze the data from different ways data store object DSO it stores the data in a two-dimensional way very similar to our tables its main aim is to utilize the overwrite functionality, maintain the image, act as a backup. Multi providers and info set. Multi provider makes the union among the cube, DSO, info object. So, whenever we execute a query on multi provider, at the runtime, it fetches the data from info provider that is DSO info cube. So, in DB terminology, it is known as views. It provides a better reporting base and InfoSet it also doesn't store the data it fetches the data from info provider similar to multi provider but the difference is it takes the intersection amongst the data in the info provider so it is similar to joins in our DB terminology data source PSA it defines what data has to be extracted from from a very large source system so data extracted is very specific as per clients requirement persistent staging area it is a two-dimensional table used to rectify the record bef before they enter info provider source system it's a place where millions and billions of records are stored of a company's different departments companies store data in different places like me like they may be non SAP SAP or even a flat file or it may even be at different locations like USA UK India transformation here we map the info objects from data source to our target info object in BW fields are known as info object so as I said earlier we are trying to get a uniform format which is suitable for reporting as this data in our data source is of different format info package and DTP they are type of schedulers very similar to our water tabs here they manage the flow of data the only difference between them is info package is used when we want to manage a flow between source system to data source whereas a data transfer process DTP is used when we want to manage a flow between data source to info provider SAP has given three different update modes full initial and Delta a full update mode here the data the records from source system is updated till the last record that is full update in initial it is similar to full but what it does is it adds a pointer at the end so that whenever the next data comes a Delta update is taken that is from that pointer to the most recent record so for so in full from 0th to nth record for initial from 0th to nth record 
the pointer and from delta it takes the takes the record from that pointer to the length record or last record extraction now once all the preparation is done we will now allow the data from source system to enter into our data source since we have created a complete data flow we will then allow the data from different source system to enter into our data source and then with the help of info package and DTP, it would be moved right into our info provider. And then we will be creating queries on them. And there are different types of extraction LO, COPA, LIS, and flat file. Apart from this, extraction can also be from on a CP system like Oracle, MySQL, etc. Reporting. Now, once we got the data in our info provider, we will be creating reports on them as it is very difficult to come to a conclusion by looking at a huge record so what we do is we convert this huge record into reports on them better readable formats like arranging them in tables or making charts and graphs so it enables us to take more optimal solution on time which is our ultimate aim so according to gartner uses the information that enables organization to best decide, measure, manage, and optimize performance to achieve efficiency and financial benefits. So reporting. So client may have different reporting tools like Cognos, MicroStrategy, BO, but the default reporting tool provided by SAP is Business Explorer, also known as BEX. This BEX is a combination of four applications analyzer, query designer, report designer, and web application designer. Performance tuning. Over here, we try to improve the performance of our reports. If, they, if the report is taking significant amount of time to execute, so there are various measures that through which we can improve the performance, like aggregates, compression, indexing, line item dimension, cardinality. So you will get a better idea when we will be going through the practicals of flows, extraction, reporting, and performance training that I am talking about. So that's all for today's class. Thank you.